hello so today i wanted to make this video because i am absolutely obsessed with hair paint wax so i used it with the pink with the like silver color i did the bronze and none of them showed up very well my hair is just too dark i haven't dyed it or bleached it so you can't really see the color too well but the freaking definition and the way it like elongated my curls was drop dead gorgeous so i went ahead and i got the styler with no wax color and today i'm going to show you all how i put it in my hair and hopefully it turns out as well as i think it's going to turn out um but you'll be here for the process so stay tuned i highly recommend this for all my curly girls so with me i have a comb I'm sitting on the floor because this was the best light i could find and it's super comfy because i have my mirror i've got my music and my little setup so we're gonna have a comb with wide teeth so that I can get my product in. I have this little hair sprayer. I put oil in mine. I put olive oil and the Jamaican black castor oil just so I could have some extra moisture in my hair. And then of course we're going to have the hair paint wax. This bottle, this container is four ounces. It looks really small but it's honestly like the perfect amount. Like you're not even going to put a dent in it. So then we begin. Pull my hair out. On the how to use, it says use a small to moderate amount, apply on damp or dry hair. Apply to hair starting from the bottom up by using your fingertips. Once you have applied, set the hair and allow it to dry. So I'm gonna use mine on wet hair. I just feel like it curls a little bit better and it looks prettier whenever it's all dry. So I'm just gonna start doing that. I'm not gonna make my braids too small just because I don't have the patience to do so. And I never think that they come out as well as I hope they will. Like, I think making lots of little braids is gonna give you like more curls and more um, more to play with, but I feel like it's just like too much sometimes. The curls come out really pretty, even when I do bigger twists. So, I'm gonna comb this out. Here is nice and damp. And then I'm gonna take some of the wax, the leather on my fingers. Rub it in, start from the bottom, and go up. I'm gonna kind of make sure it's like fully saturated in. Like even this, can you tell the way it's like pulling it? It's gonna be so freaking pretty when it dries. So then I'm just gonna twist my hair. And I could blow dry it, however, I don't like to use heat on my hair, so I'm probably just going to let it air dry, and then tomorrow we will see how it turns out. It'll be a little fun reveal for all of us. Twist all the way down. And it doesn't feel heavy, it feels super light. And normally whenever I twist my hair just without putting anything in it, just like moisturizing it or before I go to bed, it like will spring back up automatically when I finish the twist. But look what happens with this one. <laughs> look, it stays long and beautiful, minimal shrinkage. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we want. Thank you. 
did one side, my left side of my head, and I'm gonna go ahead and literally do the exact same thing on this side. Um, I try to do smaller twists in the front so that it's a little bit more defined and the bigger ones in the back, but I mean, however you do it, it'll look great. So I finally finished doing both sides of my head. So I am just going to, I'm probably gonna pull my hair back. I'm gonna go like work out and be productive and just let it air dry overnight. And I'm gonna wrap it on a sleeve and a bonnet. And then tomorrow, when it's all dry, I'll take it out and pull it down and record it so that we can see how it turned out. So we are back to take out these braids. They are now completely dry. I look at my roots. So I have been like working out these past couple days. Um, and so I was sweating a bunch and it's like a bajillion degrees in Texas. So it might look a little bit crazier than it would have had I just like went to sleep and took them out immediately. But right now my hair feels really soft. It feels so good. So I'm excited to see how these are gonna look. The timing was like perfect because I have a surprise date with my boyfriend tonight. So I did my makeup, I tried to make it similar to yesterday's instead of green and in blue. Let me know what y'all prefer. Um, and let's see how it comes out. Hopefully it's cute because I can't redo it. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna start with the back. Little by little. Ooh. I feel like I left these braids in kind of a long time. So let's see how that turns out. I'm I'm curious. Okay. Looks defined. It's like a lot longer than it normally is whenever I do a twist out, like without any sort of wax in it. And it doesn't have that like residue that the color has, which is nice, unless if I'm wearing a black shirt, so you'll be able to see it if it falls onto it. That's like the one complaint I have is that it like flakes off with the color, but I don't see anything here with the clear wax. So that is exciting. Maybe it's not wax, maybe it's styler. Maybe that's why, I don't know. Okay, that looks cool. Let me see the front. The front will determine how I feel about it, for sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am obsessed. I'm I'm in love. I think it feel it feels good. It feels so good. Oh my god, it's so soft. And then it's just so much like longer than it normally ever is. Holy crap, this one yikes. Yeah, dude, look at these curls. I'm a fan. I'm down, I'm down with it. I can just like separate the curls to make it even more defined. Or I can leave it like this. I'm gonna separate them though. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. <laughs> I love this gel. I'm actually so happy. Pick it out. Got some drama. I am 
loving. So I hope this was helpful. I am really happy with how my curls came out. I feel like they look so much more longer. It's not crunchy. It doesn't feel like I have like some gel in it. It's just like soft and defined and it like left a little bit less shrinkage than what I normally would have had whenever I do a twist out. So I'm very happy with it. Let me know if you guys use this product, how it turns out for you and how your hair came out. I am going to upload more videos more often. So I really want to know what kind of content you want to see. I've been in the event planning space for so long. So I'd love to do some fun videos on topics like that. And also, you know, if you want to see more hair, some makeup, let me know. Those aren't my like things. But I like to try new things and I like to give my friends good recommendations and I feel like y'all are my friends now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell the world about things I like because why not? Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the hair. Feeling it. Don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I'm feeling this for now. So I'm gonna go get dressed and go get cute for my surprise date tonight and I will keep y'all posted. Subscribe, comment, let me know how you feel. Um, let me know if y'all know any non-flaky edge controls because that would also be very helpful for me. All right, thank you.